today's messengers. We have no more complaining and focus on your priorities. Good morning and welcome back to the Daily Vitamin where you get your daily dose of spiritual sweetness. Um, I have actually some more cards here <laughs> that came out with the bunch. Uh, we also have <clears throat> clean energy food. <laughs> words of abundance and exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities so i think this one is pretty cut and dry my lovelies <clears throat> this is a very cut and dry message um i'll tell you what i feel called out a little bit <laughs> so maybe uh, you know cautionary trigger warning like you might feel a little called out today I just feel that spirit is highlighting the areas of, they're saying pain points, but they're pointing to joints, like they're pointing to places on the body. So if you have been dealing with, um, we'll just say problematic areas, right? Like if there have been ongoing ailments or issues that have just been obnoxious, you know, like if you have had insomnia, if you have a bum knee, if you don't like the way your pants fit, like whatever, whatever has been like a chronic nuisance within your experience, your human experience within a human body. Your guides are saying that now it's up to you. It's, it's up to you. Like this can change and it will change, but you've got to like buck up and show up, right? Like stop complaining about it. You don't need to do the whole woe is me thing. But right, yeah, they're saying focus on your priorities. Basically, like remember who you are and what you're capable of doing, you know. And so this, it's funny because I love when they use me as an example. Um, I usually go for my walk in the morning, and it's been very rainy here, which is not unusual. But like for whatever reason, I was just like, mm, it's even more reason to stay, stay in bed just a little bit longer. Um, I've had some some changes going on in the home. I've had responsibilities shift in my calendar and I've just like have been a little lax when it comes to my workout routine and my daily walk. And I've been feeling it in my body. Uh, my body's also been going through some stuff as well, some changes and shifts as I've been like detoxing, purging, like going through a lot of different cleanses, um, which I don't recommend doing all at once, but you know, hey, I'd like to go big or stay home. So <laughs> why not? But there's a, the, what I'm seeing here is that this is like absolutely reflecting, I, I'm part of it too, right? I'm part of the collective too. So they're using me as an example of it was important to be in that container for some time. Like if you were going through illness, if you were going through, a, you know, laziness, procrastination, if you were um, just downright exhausted, right? Dealing with some fatigue, um, dealing with just being busy and not being able to prioritize things. Whatever it has been for you recently, I'm here recent weeks. So, you know, maybe this went on a little bit longer, you know, maybe this has gone on for um, a couple weeks. It's time now to, I'm hearing back to school. Yeah, it's time now. To, there's a sense of like going from like summer to back to school. It's like, man, you know, just it's getting dark earlier. You know, just there's a sense here of like, okay, making the shift and, you know, getting, getting your butt outside and going for that walk or going for that hike or going for that run or, or getting to the gym, you know, lifting those weights and putting in the time or doing your, you know, grow with Joe. Like she's got five, 10, 15 minute workouts you can do. You can be in your jammies for, you know, for whatever it's worth. Like you don't even have to put on a bra, you know, just like get it in, just move your body, get it in. There's a sense here of no longer seeing yourself as, oh, I'm old, I'm decrepit, I'm arthritic, I'm, you know, I've got... Here's the thing, and I'm, I'm only going to use me as an example. I'm not trying to, like, tell you what to do or how to think. But whenever I own ailments, right? Like, whenever I, um, like, what's an example? So I've got, you. it's called euler's Donlos syndrome, and it's the thing with the fascia, and it's, like, basically leads to chronic fatigue and always in pain and, like, scoliosis. Like, there's all these different, it, it, they say it's genetic, there's all these different issues that come with it. Now, if I own that, and if I say like, I've got, they call it EDS, right? I've got EDS, like I've got EDS. Then I am just, I'm owning that and I feel that and my body's reflecting that back to me. It's like, then yeah, I am gonna be in a lot of pain. And I am gonna have a lot of back problems and I am gonna have issues with my fascia and I am gonna have that chronic fatigue and I am gonna have everything that comes with it, right? I am gonna bruise easily. 
All right, so that is going to be more prominent in my human experience. But I'll tell you what, I have lived the bulk of my life, like not owning the label of diagnoses, right? So I've just been able to like, this is how I am. Like today is a day that I'm gonna walk a little bit slower, you know, like I wanna walk a little bit slower, but I'm still walking. But if I was like, oh, but you know, I've got this disease, this genetic condition, then I can talk myself out of doing that because it's, oh, you know, I'm so fragile. It's just, no, right? Like putting the priorities into focus of not owning that label. So I feel like there's something about that that's coming through with these words of abundance of rather than focusing on what's wrong or, you know, the, the label, the diagnosis, the ailment, the issue, rather than focusing on that and then like regurgitating it or even using it as an excuse, God forbid, like whenever it's like, hey, do you want to go out and do this? Someone said, no, I've got this ailment, right? Like, no, I've got this issue. And it's just like, you're, you're making your own excuse. Like you're making your own um, barrier and blockage for actually receiving an abundance of joy or um i'm hearing the word shedding for whatever reason like the word shedding keeps so i feel like there's almost like energetic density that wants to shed but it will shed through movement right and it'll shed through um okay they're also saying shedding shedding old patterns of speech and belief when it comes to your health when it comes to your ailments now also couple this with diet now, this is something that I've been super into lately. I have um, a friend, client, student who, um, Delisa, who is like super gifted. She she is a medical empath through and through. And she's super passionate and super gifted when it comes to just like honing in on um, stuff to stay away from, not eat, you know, the cause and effects on the body, um, cleanses, you know, parasitic detoxes, like she's she's super dialed into that and so she's been super inspiring to me lately and has been like introducing me to new tools and resources that have like gotten me re-inspired and i've been like just doing things very differently when it comes to how i do my meal prep how i do my meal planning um and what i'm sure just basically there's just a lot of joy around it and what's interesting is like not only is this good for my body and good for my health but there's clean energy around this right so it's not just like how i say this if you have been of the mindset of like, okay, I've got to stick to this plan. I have to eat a certain way. I have to do this in order to get results, whether that be, you know, weight loss or bulking or shredding or cutting or whatever, whatever it is. Like if you have been very regimented with, with self and it's hard to stick to that, or it's felt very like, you know, self-flagellization, like you beat yourself up if you fall off the wagon, there's something about like, there's a different way to do it get excited about it find things that work for you like rather than being like i need to eat a certain way or i need to be vegan rather than being so regimented could you maybe challenge yourself and say i like to eat all the colors on my plate every meal i like to have a very colorful plate and maybe that's more plant-based right maybe you're you're taking all you got your radishes and your carrots and your you know mushrooms and your spinach and some yellow peppers or golden peppers so like that creates more color on the plate and it's more fun to focus on the color and the artistry and the creation but you're actually what you're doing is this is clean energy food right it's it's food that's supportive to your system but there's also clean energy around it because you're changing your perspective you're changing your words you're changing your approach around it to be more fun and uplifting and open-hearted same thing with exercise you know i can understand that there's there's a time and a place for discipline but discipline for the sake of discipline it doesn't work for everyone okay it doesn't work for everyone not all brains are created equal not all energies are created equal but if you have a, a system in place for yourself that's more fun or you're allowing yourself to like, you know what, every single Monday or every single morning from 6 a.m. to 7.30, that is my workout time. But Mondays, I like to go swimming. Tuesdays, I like to go for a walk. Wednesdays, I like to go to the gym. Thursday, I like to go to, I don't know, roller skating on the trail, like whatever. And you like to switch it up because it's more fun for you. Maybe Friday, you've got a little activity group that you like to join and see your friends. There's something about this that it's like, creating more joy and uplifting energy around 
really basic, genuine self-care, <laughs> right? Like self-care, loving on yourself, taking care of yourself, not, you know, whipping your, your own ass in the gym because, you know, no one's going to love you because your muscles aren't big enough or, you know, like that's just, you might look different on the outside, but how, how are you feeling on the inside about yourself, you know? So there's something about this where it's just like, you know what, the things that haven't been working, shifting the energy around it and therefore shifting the activity around it in a way that holistically and empirically supports you. I think, yeah, that's it. Message delivered. All right, gang, gang. I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully this message was helpful for you. You can take something from it and apply it to your day. And with that, I'm sending you so much love. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.